Didn't you enter in your calculator 40P3? Yes, NPR. Right. Couldn't you enter that in your calculator as well? The answer is what? Yes. You got it, Gabby? You got it in hers too? Did you show her? All right. How many deluxe pizzas are possible? Could you tell me what 11C4 is by your calculator? What is it? 330? What about this problem here? What do you have here? 7P what? What's 7P7? Isn't that going to be 7 factorial over 7 minus 7 factorial, or simply 7 factorial over 0 factorial? What is 0 factorial? Isn't this really 7 factorial? What is 7 factorial? What does your calculator say? What is it? What is it? 5,040. 5,040, okay, good. Anybody have any questions on those? Yeah. I think, personally, the hardest part of all of this, the hardest part isn't putting this in your calculator and using your calculator. That's not the hardest part. The hardest part is determining whether or not you have a combination or a what? Permutation. That is the most, most difficult thing to do. In fact, here's, it, it, it gets worse than that. Does anybody know why or how are we even doing this? Let me, let me put it over here. I started to erase some of these things. I don't want to do that. Does anybody know why are we even doing this? Well, here's the reason. It has to do with this definition. <laughs> it has to do with this. What is this? What is this? This is the definition of what? Probability. Ability. In other words, counting really assists you in determining values that are needed to answer probability questions. For example, let's go to the prize list here. The prize list. Go example. Prizes. The prizes. The prizes in which you had a $100, a $75, and you had a what? $50. What's the probability? That Moshi is first. What else? Yao's D was second, and Adriana is third. <laughs> right? What's the probability that this is what we get. It's the number of what? It's the number of outcomes or the number of rosters that look like this over the total number that are possible. What did you guys just get through determining with 40 P3? What does that value represent by definition? I wrote the definition down. 
What is 40p3, which is the value 59,280? What does that represent to you? Huh? That's the total number. What's this, what does this number represent? It's the total number of rosters of how many people? Of three students taken from a pool of 40. That's the total number of what? Isn't this, this is N of S. This is N of S, meaning 40P3 down here. This is the total number of arrangements of three students where you care about the order when you take, in, take it from a pool of 40. And that value is 59,280. Now, this one is going to take a little bit of thinking. There's always somebody in the room that knows the answer. <laughs> Can you guys tell me, tell me, how many arrangements of three students are there in which Yoshi is going to be first, Yaozi second, and Adriana third? How many? What do you think? How many rosters are you going to get that look just like this? Remember, this isn't the same one. This is a different scenario. How many? One. How did you deduce that? There's only one. Exactly. One. Yes. There's one roster that looks exactly like this out of 59,280 distinct ro uh, rosters of three students. So this here, I mean, this is the deal. We're computing a probability that these people are going to be the winners, first, second, and third. What is this answer? 1 over 59,280. What is this answer approximated to the nearest, I don't know, 10 thousandths? What is it? 0. 0.000. .000. Zero. You finally get a one here? Okay, what's the next number? Well, okay, tell me what your calculator just gives you. Did you get four zeros here? Okay, let's see what this is. Then it's going to be approximately 0 0.1234. Two point zero 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 two. Okay. So the probability that this occurs, where Moshi wins first prize, which is a hundred bucks, Yaozi wins second, which is seventy-five, Adriana wins third, which is fifty, that is going to be point zero 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 two. That's the likelihood that this happens. Note, since we're on the topic, what's the odds against? Or no, let's say, that's, what's the odds for this event happening? What's the odds for this event happening? What is that? Think about it. What's the odds for? How many outcomes 